Hi there, this is the Damjanovic Barle trap in the Sicilian Rossellino variation from the games Branko Damjanovic against Boris Gulko in the Tilburg Blitz tournament in 1994 and also from the game Barle against Beshukov in Ljubljana, Slovenia, 1994. White opens E4 and the Sicilian with c5, knight f3, knight c6, and now the move which is uh, rapidly becoming the main line of this is the Rossolimo variation with bishop b5. Black defends e6, castles and knight g e7, supporting the knight on c6, knight c3 and a6 giving the bishop its marching orders, and here white chooses to trade on c6, Black recaptures with a knight, d4 with a hold in the center, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, and black gets the little center, the Sicilian with d6, rook to e1, and bishop e7, black's preparing to castle. White trades minor pieces on c6, and b takes on c6. Black really can't be too bad off here, enjoying the bishop's pair, but black has a few weaknesses which white will quickly exploit. Queen g4, common idea, targeting g7. And in this position, more or less equal, black has played king f8, Korobov and Arkady Nidic have both, both played this move. And g6, not, all, not too bad for black as well, played by Matlakov and Tregubov. If instead castles as a Boris Gulko played, and as Beshukov played, then black is asking for trouble as his position is thrown into ruin. Bishop h6, a common idea, threatening mates on the move, queen takes on g7, and really the best black could do here is give up the exchange, which would be a lost position anyway. If bishop f6, then the e-pawn marches to e5, giving itself up, d takes on e5, that's going to open the d file for one of the rooks as well as having vacated that all-important e4 square for the white knight. First knight jumps to e4 with one of the rooks, probably the a rook, heading for, for d1. King moves out of uh, harm's way, out, off the g file to h8, threatening to capture the bishop on h6. So well, the queen could have maybe played to e7, but then the bishop would have come back anyway to e3, heading to relocate to c5. So, king h8 threatens to take the bishop. Rook a d1, first gain time hitting the queen. The queen's going to move to e7, and now bishop e3. Well, the bishop is heading for c5 which is going to pick up at least the exchange so rook g8 is logical if instead of rook g8 let's have a look first at uh, rook d8 white gains advantage by trading on d8 queen takes d8 rook d1 queen e7 and bishop c5 with a queen heading to c7 or to c7 or to e8 if uh, queen e8 knight takes f6 g takes f6 and queen h4 hitting the pawn on f6 and if king to g7 then the rook's coming up to d3 heading for g3 with a mating attack and if instead of king g7 black tries bishop b7 we're going to see the same rook lift idea after queen takes f6 king g8 and rook d3 again heading for g3 with a mating attack for white so going back Instead of queen to e8, if queen c7, then knight takes on f6 with g takes f6 and bishop f8 is going to be mating on g7. White is winning. So going back again, instead of rook d8, if we continue now, rather than rook d8 for black, which we just saw loses, rook to g8, then bishop c5, and this was played in both the said games, Damjanovic against Gulko and Barlet against Beshukov after bishop c5. This is where the two players diverged. Gulko played queen c7 and Beshukov played here queen to e8. If queen e8, then knight d6 hitting the queen, 
queen to f8 and now queen h5 g6 and queen f3 hitting the bishop with queen g7 defending queen takes on c6 that's how Bale defeated Beshukov and the other variation as played by Boris Gulko after bishop c5 if queen c7 Dobzhanovic went on to win with bishop to d6 with a fine position for white but objectively better is actually queen back to f3 since if that bishop drops back to uh, e7 then the pawn on f7 is going to be falling and white is going to be winning so this has been the Damjanovic Bale trap in the Sicilian Rossellimo variation thanks for watching bye bye